Creating a professional broadcast quality video is easier and less expensive today than ever before. Today, for a budget in the neighborhood of $30,000, you can stock a mobile van like this one with all the equipment needed to create shows that will rival what used to cost absolutely millions of dollars to produce and took huge crews to operate. With the tools I'm about to show you, it becomes practical and affordable even for low and medium budget groups to easily create spectacular video shows. Even if you want to control multiple cameras up to 16, maybe even 32, multiple microphones, switched live, with the ability to insert stunning professional graphics and do special effects like slow motion instant replays. Do real time keying, matting, incorporate virtual sets. There's a lot you can do with this stuff. The game you're seeing now all came out of this one small van owned by the school board of the Williamson County government in Tennessee. I used to work there. My good buddy Newt Danley still does. Newt and I were videotaping serial killers together way back in 1984. Thankfully, our lives are a bit more mundane now that we are both out of the TV news business. Newt is now the production manager for the county, where Friday night high school football games get humongous audiences. Using this mobile van, Newt and his small crew of high school video production students are able to create broadcast quality shows within the time frame of the event, plus a few hours set up in teardown time. No post-production is needed. The heart of the system is a super high-powered computer with a special video card hooked up with a switcher and a breakout box, all from the VT line of digital editing products by NewTek. Everything is contained in this one computer. Everything that we do except audio, the audio is in there. I mean, you could actually use this computer for audio. We prefer using a separate audio board because of the control it gives you. That way you're not using a mouse trying to control your, your audio. The entire package from NewTek for the current VT5 version runs $8,500 to $9,000. We had this built. You, we didn't order this computer with the VT4 in it. We ordered the VT4 hardware, software, hardware, uh, and software, the program, and so on. Then we hired a firm here to build us a supercomputer. This thing, uh, the, the person that built it to told us he had never had anything this powerful in his shop. One camera is routed straight into the computer. The other cameras are routed first into these DVR machines, then into the computer. If you do it this way, the video from every camera but one is recorded. That's how Newt does his instant replays. As director, he shows the audience what was just recorded on whichever DVR machine happened to have the best shot. So in addition to Newt himself, he uses one crew member to run the slow-mo and DVR machines and another to do graphics. It's kind of tight in here it's, it's when you're actually yeah, doing a game. Yeah, this is close quarters. It's, it's, yeah. Yes, you have to really like one another and wear a lot of deodorant. So graphics person here, director sits here, and this is his instrument. This is the, uh, the switcher. Here he can choose or change the graphics that are on the screen being fed to him by the person over here working the graphics, bringing them up as he needs them. Like any video studio, mobile or not, this van contains a lot of monitors. Fortunately today, you can get tiny ones. And uh, this it in itself is about $1,200 for the, the four preview monitors. And they have the same ins and outs on the back as the big preview monitors. We're adding four more. There'll be another bracket of these when we get into the football season this year. And then all of these monitors will actually be mounted instead of freestanding as they are now, which will make everything look a little better, but also be a lot safer. It'll ride a lot better in here. One important trick Newt always uses to accommodate all the monitors you need is to run lots of these distribution amps that split and then boost the signal. We'd be lost without these little distribution amps. They are just lifesavers. Yeah, they're very inexpensive, but they, they accomplish what you need to do.
As a longtime video professional, Newt Danley has seen lots of equipment come and go. He is able to have the perspective to really appreciate all of the power within this one van. NBC, ABC, one of their vans, which has more cameras, but this would handle the same number of cameras that, that they have. It's just that we don't have that many cameras or that many people to run them. For video production tips, I'm Lorraine Grula. Thanks for watching.